I have a treat for you today by the way of an apology for missing Sunday's upload and abandoned House of Culture here in Georgia. House of Culture is so full bodied it was built for 11 years and even to this day is considered to be one of the most impressive and grand buildings in Georgia, especially if you're only considering the smaller of the Georgian villages. Construction of the building began in 1953 and it was completed in 1964 and it was complete with a main hall fit for 650 people, so one of the largest ever built in Ajara. Concerts were being held here with assemblies coming on tour and conducting performances. According to a local former caretaker, the process of destroying the House of Culture began in the 1990s. In a newspaper interview two years ago, he mentioned that the first thing that was stolen from the building were the heavy but gorgeous red velvet curtains. So obviously that hampered my grand entrance. We're at another culture house. I know we keep photographing culture houses on this trip, right? But uh, yeah, this one is in the Jara in the west of Georgia. Again, uh, there's plenty of them in this area. Well, I've been here multiple times before. Uh, on this particular trip, uh, we've undertaken ones that we visited on a prior occasion. So I've been in here maybe five or six times. It's a popular one. Uh, it sparks some interest because it's got some really cool heads and some features inside. Um, heads of Stalin and sort of like parts of um, you know, concrete ornaments and things like this. Um, it's difficult to shoot in there. The lighting conditions are awful in some parts of the building. But we're gonna show you a couple of shots that we're gonna to grab today. Let's go and have a look. We photographed this place numerous times. However, I've got a couple of shots that I want to show you today. Uh, I've got my camera set up just over here. So one, it's quite dark in here, so it's difficult for us to film. But here, just by the staircase, there's one shot that I've always been trying to nail. The main issue with it is it's wonky and a bit awkward. So let's have a look at it. I really like the shot that's here. This is the staircase, and obviously it's Soviet, so nothing lines up. But the thing with this is, is I've tried multiple times to actually line it up, to, to frame it, and I think it looks good. I like the tones in here, and obviously uh, tones for me is important. The blue, the brown, they go together really well. But lining this shot up with this staircase is really difficult. I've done it a couple of times, and I've always had people with me, or workshop guests or something. So it's always a struggle and someone comes to chat to you and it's difficult to line it up. So I'm going to have a go now on camera and see how we get on. But there is some overgrowth at the back of the, you know, coming through the window at the back of the stairs, which looks really cool. But obviously that then makes for a difficult shot with the light coming towards the camera. 
So um, yeah, I'm going to have another go at it, lining it up. I may use some of this wall, but I might also use some of these pillars here, but we'll have a look, see which one works best. I'm just going to use my, my 16 to 35. I'm going to pull my camera up, always trying to get to the highest point I can. So if you can get halfway up this building, you'd be in a good, you know, good position to be able to photograph it. Um, it's, a, it's such a difficult shot to, to position. Already I'm, it's looking a bit awkward, so I might come further forward straight away because there's a door frame on the right here and it looks a bit crap. So I'm going to go forwards until the door is out of, you know, out of my shot completely. Um, and I'm going to change it to about 20 mil. So 20 mil, 16 to 35. Go forward to here. Things are better. They're definitely lined up. Um, it's difficult to see. It's really difficult to see the, the, the whole of the staircase. So maybe I can actually bring the camera down a bit. Okay, I've had to cheat a bit. So what I've done is I've actually come back and using the pillars, I'm gonna mask the fact that the building's not straight. So by putting the pillars there, making sure they're straight in my frame, it makes everything else look like it is lined up perfectly, but it's not, it's, it's actually way off. Um, the stairs are awkward. The archway that's just before it's awkward. I've now got the door in my shot, but actually I quite like the light that it's giving off on the right hand side of my frame. It's not the best shot. I've ever taken but it's certainly one that for some reason I'm always drawn to every time I visit this building so um, yeah it's, it's, it'll do the job. At the end of the day these Soviet buildings are what they are and you could shoot it at an angle but I've, I've tried angles with this staircase I've tried shooting it from the side I could zoom in now and, and eliminate a lot of that door but I also like the blue the ceiling's blue and I think that draws the eye through it's quite nice so it's ISO 100 F8, five brackets. So my brightest exposure is one over. So it's, no, it's not actually, it's zero. My brightest exposure is zero, which is 1.3 seconds, which is oh, fine. And the light's now gone off the stairs. So we've got light, but it's not actually on the banister of the staircase. So it might look quite good. It's like I said, it's not the best shot, but I like the textures, the wall, the wallpaper. I like the blue. It's just a shame that this shot doesn't line up and that some of the best details of it are, you know, nowhere to be seen. Still alive, Stalin. He's right there, look. Well, he's looking a bit of a mess. I mean, someone's done his nose in. But I thought I'd actually come and do something a bit different. I don't usually, I don't think anyone's ever seen me post a detail shot in my entire existence. But I quite like this one. Um, there's, the thing is, it's a difficult shot because there's like all this mess in, in the composition. You've kind of got like horrible light to the right on the balcony. You've got a lot of collapsed stuff behind. The roof itself is quite colorful. So it's uh, backlit with color, if that makes sense. Cause you've got the light coming into the ceiling and reflecting back on the shot. And Stalin himself sitting there or lying there, whatever he's doing, I'm gonna try and focus on him and try and ignore, but not overexpose the background too much because we don't want the background overexposed because it will just look a bit messy. Uh, I'm just going to change my, my white balance back. I'm just going to roll it back slightly to 6,000, Kelvin 6,000. Just because I quite like the golden tones in here, I like the oranges, and auto white balance is bringing it all up as blue. And I know you can change it in raw and post, but I like that starting point being right. And I'm also just going to focus on his, uh, his head, really. Like, that's as simple as that. I'm not that low. I could probably get a little bit lower. I've just done that there. And that then makes my shot maybe 
a little bit more interesting. The problem is, is I might have to crop it later. So I might leave myself quite a bit of wiggle room. I might bring myself over a bit, leave myself a bit of wiggle room to crop out some of the clutter over on the right hand side of the frame. And there is quite a lot of that clutter as well. So I'm gonna shoot it as wide as I need and then I'll crop the edges off later. So at the moment, I'm gonna focus straight on his head. I'm exposing it for, it's a fourth of a second F5 ISO 100. And I'm not gonna really sure whether I'm gonna like that or not. The other th the thing that I'm not liking is there's some windows at the back right over there. And from where I'm sitting, they're really distracting in the picture. So I'm gonna go to 35 mil, doesn't really crop it out either. So unfortunately, that does mean I'm probably gonna have to come even lower to get rid of them. With this composition, our focus isn't drawn on it um, because I've kind of hidden it a little bit behind the wall. I've focused more on lower, so Stalin is fuller in the frame. I'm gonna leave myself lots of crop. There is also an awful bag down here over his shoulder, like I think it's his duffel bag or something, so I'm gonna move that. This thing. Sake, straw in my life. I'm also going to slightly underexpose this so that the background doesn't look too distracting. And then I'll bring up Stalin if I have to. It's actually F5. I'm going to go to F4.5. Yeah, 4.5, fifth of a second, and it comes out as sort of just under a stop of light, ISO 100. It looks fine. Okay, so look at this staircase. It's nice, isn't it? Um, it's actually three levels. And over the, uh, the visits that I've made to this location, I've tried to photograph this stairs on multiple occasions. I did finally, I think on my third or fourth visit, get a, a shot of this that I really liked. It's a panoramic top, middle and bottom stitched, but with my camera pressed right against that wall behind the camera position there. It's an interesting shot. It's very sort of in your face because of this front banister. I hope you like it. I'll pop it up on the screen. Until next time, do me a massive favour, will you? Bash that subscribe button. Until next time, bye-bye for now.